गुड इवनिंग आई एम मिकलेश यादव इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट एजम्सन नंबर फाइव टू सेवन आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड फ्रॉम एजम्सन नंबर वन टू फोर इन लास्ट वीडियो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एजम्सन नंबर फाइव सेज नो आई डी वी हैज टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट इट मीन्स इन वैल्यू ऑफ इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वेरिएशन शुड बी देयर सो हाउ टू नो सिंपली द कमांड इज वी ए आर इट मीन्स वेरियंस एंड देन इनडिपेंडेंट सीरीज सो वट इज इनडिपेंडेंट सीरीज दिस इनडिपेंडेंट सीरीज इज इनफ्लेशन राइट सो सिंपली वी कैन राइट हेयर inflation and press on enter well the value of variance is 6.73 it means the value is more than 0 so simply you can say that assumption number 5 holds true it means assumption number 5 is satisfied let's talk about six assumption what is this the mean of residuals has to be zero for the for the same the command is mean and residual series so simply model 1 symbol of dollar and residuals why model 1 because i have stored the value of linear model in model 1 series so after writing this command just press on enter well the value of mean is minus 2.541128 at exponential 17 it means the value is approximately 0 so assumption number 6 holds true Let's talk about last assumptions, and that is seven. Independent variable and residual should be uncorrelated. It means there should be no correlation between residual and series of independent variables. For the same, we can easily check with the help of correlation test. So the command is. C O R it means correlation test and uh, inflation because this is my independent variable comma residual so model one and dollar symbol residuals then press on enter well this is Pearson's product moment correlation. if you focus on p value that is equal to 1 it means p value is more than 5% so what is null hypothesis null hypothesis is true correlation is equal to 0 because this is alternative hypothesis right so null hypothesis is true correlation is equal to Zero, and p value is more than five percent. So we can say that hypothesis is accepted, and hypothesis is true. Correlation is zero. So the seven assumption also holds true. So from assumptions number one to seven have been discussed. and uh, in next video i'll be talking about multiple time series regression thank you very much